years before uh, Milano, I played in Cantu. And that time, of course, there's a lot of great players playing and uh, going through, through Milano. And for sure, at that time, was Siena and Milano was the best teams. Cantu was growing step by step. And we, we had a lot of good games with, uh, with Milano. And that summer, after Galatasaray, after three years in Galatasaray, Milano calls me. And uh, as soon as they called me, I called my agent and I said, this is it, I'm, I'm going there. Because that, that was, I cannot say dream, but that was the, one of the, my, my favorites to, to sign uh, and to live in Milano. Like every uh, club, like every season, when you change the coach, when you change a lot of players, it, it takes some time to everything to, like a puzzle, it takes some time to, to put everything together, to start playing uh, better and better. Uh, that year we had a lot of players, we had a lot of foreigners. Unfortunately, as far as I remember, without uh, European um, experience playing in uh, high-level competitions. And that's why I think that season we, we could manage to, to reach the playoffs. But every season we was growing up. We, also my first year we managed to win the Italian league, which is very hard because later on some seasons we couldn't manage to, to win the championship. But then uh, again, when Ettore came, uh, everything changed and uh, immediately. During all my career, I was never uh, chasing and uh, playing for myself because all my life, my, my idea, my philosophy about basketball is that basketball is team sport. So as far as we are winning, I'm happy. And uh, okay, Super Cup is kind of beginning of the season, so most of the teams don't even bring the shape of the team on the level that they want because it's, it's uh, before the season. But uh, everything uh, was set up for us to, to win easily in, in Brescia. And honestly, I was kind of surprised. I mean, I, I knew that I played uh, good at tournament, but honestly, really, I didn't expect that I was going to be MVP. And of course, as I said, also for the Final Four, I don't know how many players during, my, uh, during their careers have a chance to, to win the trophy and to be MVP. For example, the, uh, my son had the last week something in the school and he invited me to, to go there and he also asked me, he showed some trophies, my clips, last, the buzzer beaters and everything. He asked me how many times you won MVP and I tried to explain him it's, it's very hard because he has to be everything set. Your team play uh, good to win the, the tournament, to win the trophy and then on top of it, for one player to be the best uh, the best player, the most valuable player of the tournament. So it completely, it's, it's, it's very hard to achieve. Hemp controlla, sbaglia anche lui, incredibili. Due errori clamorosi, Ruzier cade a terra. Non so cosa gli sia successo. 5 contro 4 per Milano. Mitsov tira per la vittoria. Yes, I remember. In one season, two here three times, it's, I think it's really big and incredible number. I remember Cremona, Venezia and uh, Valencia. Uh, I mean, what, what to say, the most important thing again, we won those games and in that particular moment I was, uh, I was open, I remember Cremona was wide open, in Venezia, Chacho drive in the middle of the paint, kick out, I score over the player, it was maybe one second left, but I think the kind of the most important was in uh, Valencia because it's, it was Corona uh, period, that was our last game. Uh, we played the front of empty, empty gym, no fans because of Corona and everything. So I think the completely picture how we finished the, the EuroLeague season and everything was uh, last shot in, in Valencia. But for sure, all, all great moments. Honestly, also in my life, I don't regret about anything. Uh, yes, unfortunately, I, I didn't win uh, Final Four. Unfortunately, also I didn't make finals. Uh, three times I played, three times uh, I was kicked out in semifinals, and also three times with Coach Ettore Messina. Two times in Moscow, in CSKA Moscow, and uh, one time in Milano. So, if I can say overall, if I have to underline my, my career, uh, that was the only, if I can say, like negative thing that I, I couldn't uh, won the, the Final Four, the EuroLeague.
but overall, I'm super happy with my, my career, nothing to regret. No, honestly, I mean, the, the people, the fans, and uh, they, they gave me this nickname, and uh, all my career I was kind of uh, playing without any emotion, which of course during career some coaches was uh, very bad about that, upset, because they couldn't see my emotions, my reactions on the court. Some of them knew with me, um, so they just play with me like that. But also, I think Dan Peterson gave me here like kind of like I'm kind of submarine. Like uh, I play good, but it's like under the under the water. Like I'm doing a lot of good things, but also nobody can see me what I'm doing. That's what I think. I'm, during career, I was trying to to do a lot of things to help the team to win. And I was always saying it's not only points. There is a lot of stats. I mean, there are a lot of these empty things in the stats that maybe the, the real stats is not showing. Also, for example, right now we are talking about maybe Karl Heinz, that a lot of small things that he's doing for the team, but it's not shown in, uh, in the stats. So I was trying uh, during my career to do also that kind of things. And maybe because of all those things that I was doing on the court and also of the court running maybe very quiet life, they call me also these kind of nicknames, your professor. So it's very nice for me and it's a big honor, of course, that people gave me that kind of nickname. Honestly, I know that a lot of players, when they're changing the teams, changing countries, or they have kind of interviews, they're saying, uh, I felt like a home, my family, this and that. For sure, it's all of them true, more or less, it depends from the intense of the sentence. But for me, really, spending four years here, I grew up with the team. Also, I was every year playing better and better, growing with the team who was playing better and better, till we managed to, to make the Final Four after 20 years. I don't know even how many, even more, that Olympia didn't make it. So, of course, I was super happy. My family was enjoying the life here, and I said also in the last interview, showing that we love Milano, we even bought apartment, and of, I mean, I want the better right now with my wife that we give chance to, to Belgrade to start uh, life over there, because I, I didn't live over there for like uh, 17 years. So, but there is always option to, to come back in Milano. So yes, I mean, we love a lot of Milano. I had a great connection with fans, with the people from Milano, people from club, from Olympia. So really, honestly, from deep of my heart, I can say this is my, my house. Trust me, a few days ago, I watched this clip like 10 times. Nicola had in the class comments. I mean, this is really the, the picture of the, of the, of the season. Everything uh, was, everything ended up in, in one shot. It's incredible because really, we play in front of the empty gym, Corona, after that game, we came back and season stopped. It's incredible. So the, the, the biggest memory is you, you finish the season with a buzzer beater of, of me. It's incredible. Really, the, the big picture, incredible. Dribble, 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 dribble. Boop. Incredible. Especially this rims in Venezia, super stiff. Incredible. Especially we, a lot of times we lost against Venezia. Very strange team.